Not you motherfuckers again, proclaimed Ambassador Vox. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to deal with the human plague during my term here. Fuck! I guess speak your bit before we blast you to the Stone Age again. How many planets have you spread to this time? The human just stood there, cocking his head to the side as they do when in deep thought. Just like a canine. Well, the human responded, we have a few outposts on our moon, and we built a sort of Pueblo city in a canyon on Mars. And then there's the scientific bases on Europa and Ganymede. I was on a mission to the Proxima when I was intercepted. Vox responded, Don't bother with Proxima. We've already confined your species to that system. We don't need them learning FTL again. The human cocked his head again. How cute. It was thinking. No, it said. We've been communicating. They never mentioned any of that. Never mention you guys are a big space station or a galactic council. They aren't going to like this. Okay, the ambassador stated. Your race is little more than a virus. We don't know who engineered you, but you destroy everything you touch. Multiple times we've had to handle you at your source world. Complete eradication is the obvious answer, but the council always forces us to cut your numbers and strip you of your technology. We can glass any colony worlds in your own system, but due to bureaucracy... We just trap any outside worlds like the two around Proxima. Well, fuck, said the human. Guess we are at war then? These false accusations. Our entire history goes back maybe 30,000 years. We only recently figured out fusion, and FTO is close, but not quite there. We are maybe 89% capable. In fact, my entire crew is still in stasis. I was about to enter myself before your destroyer captured my ship. Destroyer, eh? No, that was a simple patrol vessel. It lies dormant just outside the solar system waiting for you twats to inevitably leave. It actually had a difficult time catching you. You see, we don't actually travel faster than light. We cheat, as it were. Your ship was doing 125% light speed. The collector array at the front of your ship seems to violate the galactic constant. This, of course, is new, but 30,000 years? Try about 4 million. Your people have been an epidemic on this quadrant for millions of fucking years. The human laughed. Vox was not amused by this showing of incorrect emotion. The first time you were FTL capable, we welcomed you with open arms. A new species. With so much drive. It was exciting. And then war. You nuke entire planets over the silliest, most marginable shit imaginable. Entire species are gone because of you. You strip planets of resources in lieu of restructuring hydrogen into everything. You always split into slavery factions, war factions. You can't maintain a singular viewpoint. Now, despite that being your biggest weakness, I personally do applaud that. You would be absolutely devastating as a hive mind. So we decimated your population, confining you to your homeworld, knocking you back a few eons. After that, it was roughly every 30,000 years, you'd eventually discover nuclear weaponry. A few decades later, you'd be space-throwing. Quite often, you'd actually power your crafts with fucking nukes. Imagine a giant bullet filled with humans surfing a wave of explosions. It's humanity in a gent shell. Most of the time, you just wipe yourselves out. You get almost to the Type 2 point and then nuke yourselves back to the Stone Age, eradicating any traces of your existence. Lemuria, Atlantis. These civilizations did actually exist, much further back than your Plinies and Platos had suggested. One time we made the mistake of giving you another chance. You didn't utilize nuclear power. You figured out how to draw it from the very ether of the veil. Your planet was clean. Your people were united. That was a mistake. You immediately bonded with the brood. The Brew were a previous colony of yours in the Sirius system. Somehow you both reached FTL simultaneously and learned of your past. And that was when humanity declared war on the entire council out of spite. You almost won that war too. We had to glass the Sirius system. And once again push you back to your homeworld. We decided to freeze it. We thought that would hold you back for a while. No. The last time it was the Sumerians. These primitive blokes didn't even waste 200 years. They had crystal-based coal fusion, batteries, plasma weapons. 
Yet they were still clothed in animal skins and didn't understand basic metallurgy. We had to send the Anunnaki to set them straight. We thought it worked. Instead of a full-scale decimation, we just shut them down. The rest of the civilizations hadn't caught up yet. We were hoping they wouldn't, yet here you are. The human laughed. Vox looked concerned at this. This same situation had happened in these same halls countless times. The human never laughed. They would beg. They would plea. They would get violent. Never laughing. The human was trying to talk through his laughter. An insectoid drone handed him a cylinder of water. You think... You think mine is the only Ark ship? No. I left last. That's why you found me. I hadn't cloaked yet. The free dreadnoughts escorted my ship. They were, however. And at that exact moment, while poetic but unintentional, the station lost all power. <laughs>